everybody welcome back to Pam's cutting board it's been a while since we've been in the kitchen we had a little update on our house so we took some time off from cooking and we uh, showed you a couple of the rooms that we've done kitchen being one of them but we're back in the kitchen and we're cooking thank you so much for stopping by we thank you for all of our old time followers and we thank you for our new subscribers too and if you're watching and you haven't subscribed we'd like for you to do so uh, anytime you subscribe that you comment or um, like or share the video it does help us a little bit to grow our channel and that's what we're trying to do we're trying to get good food out there to people teach them how to cook a little bit and get the word of God out and if you need prayer um, anytime, anytime during the day or night, just drop us a little note on the comments or send us an email and we'll be happy to pray for you. We put you in uh, what we call a prayer book and we pray over that every single night. And I know a lot of our followers pray too. So, what are we making? Meatloaf. Wayne requested that and that's what we're going to make. Now, I've made meatloaf the same identical way for probably 30 plus years. But I saw this recipe, I think it was on Facebook, and I was telling one of my friends, my coworkers, and she said that's how she made her meatloaf. So that's how we're gonna do it today. Now uh -oh. the meat, <laughs> Wayne loves my meatloaf, so he's a little afraid that it's not gonna turn out good. But we're gonna see, we're gonna be honest. We're gonna let you know if we like this meatloaf or if we like the one that we that I normally make. And I do have that video up too uh, of the way I make my meatloaf normally. Now this recipe, it just calls for four things. It calls for um, ground chuck or ground uh, beef, whichever you prefer, uh, some ketchup, and we, there's a lot of times I use generic, but ketchup is not one of those. Wayne doesn't like the generic. I'm not a big fan of ketchup anyway, but he likes this. And um, some stuffing, and it said it could be any flavor, but oh, I've got the chicken. I'm sure, yeah. About to drop the camera. Uh, and then a couple of eggs and some water. So these are the things that it called for. But I can't stop there. I'm going to add a few more things. I'm going to add me some garlic and onion powder, some salt and pepper, uh, a little bit of tomato paste. I've used it in another recipe. So I had some left over and I'm going to use it. You can also freeze. Um, the tomato paste if you wanted to some onion that it's starting to grow uh, in my onion basket mm. some tomato sauce and I've got some frozen peppers that um, uh, I was going to lose if I didn't use them or put them in the freezer so I'll put them in the freezer and this is some stir-fry veggies um, just stir-fry peppers and onions but I like the different color of uh, peppers, so I'm just gonna chop up a few of those and let that be in my meatloaf too. So, let's get started. Now this is um, ground beef, and it said it's 73.27. Um, it's just a little bit over a pound. First, let me take my rings off. Uh, let's say hello to Bent, bent. Daddy's boy. Yes. He's faithful to uh, stand there and watch us. He is faithful for every video. He comes. He's waiting for a scrap is what he's waiting for. Yeah. <laughs> I should have got me a garbage bowl. But it didn't. Okay. And so usually I use uh, breadcrumbs. Um, some crackers or oatmeal. I've used oatmeal. Crackers is my favorite though. You but seem so far. I'm sorry for interrupting. What? You seem so far away. You want me to pull up and get closer? Is this better? Oh, yeah. Oh, that's better. The lighting is better and everything. And I'm closer to my baby. I would have liked for my ground beef to be 
maybe a 80 20 because you want a little fat because it's going to have to bake about 45 minutes to an hour so you don't want it to dry out so you want that fat um, but that's all I can find I have a little fat <laughs> would that work I am going to put my eggs in I'm gonna, and I'm gonna wait till you mix it up a little bit before I get everybody down on the bowl. Okay. Put a little bit of pepper. And I know I had a request um, from one of our subscribers, and they wanted me to show the recipe um, because I think there is some of our. Um, senior citizens and I think they go to like a, a daycare for senior citizens and they watch on a community TV and they don't have access to the computers but they still want the recipe so what I want to try to do is just write it out I know I usually put it in the description box but I'm just going to write it out maybe take a picture of it and overlay it so they can pause the TV and have access to that recipe. Oh, that was a very nice lady, wasn't it? She was. She was yeah, nice. I remember. She asked very nicely. And she said, you know, if you can't do it, it's okay. <laughs> but I want to try to do that for them because, you know, I want everybody to have access that if they want it. And didn't she ask about the handsome cameraman? <laughs> And I'm just kind of eyeballing it because that's the way I make my meatloaf. Well, what would you guess? Uh, probably maybe a teaspoon and a half of the uh, onion powder, garlic powder. Probably about a half a teaspoon of black pepper and salt. I mean, I'm not trying to put you on the spot. No, no, no. They need to know. And this is probably half of a um, four ounce little can of tomato paste. Sorry, that was loud. I would never, never try to make my sweetheart look Bad. I know. I know that. Okay, let me get a little chopping board. I don't want to bang that up. Somebody put some Gatorade in the way. And I stopped by the store. I worked today. And, uh, I don't know why I got that. I had this. <laughs> See? You miss a little while and... I know, I feel like I'm almost like it's my first video. Yeah. What was I saying? Let me go back. Um, I stopped by the store today and I got Wayne um, some Gatorade. He loves Gatorade. And I got a bunch of it and just left it on the counter and didn't clean it up. But I, I did work today and uh, I guess I'm tired of making mistakes. And too, it's been a while since we've been in the kitchen. What we done, we knew we were gonna be um, updating our house, and so we made several videos ahead. So you guys have been seeing videos. We've been working, we've not been in the kitchen, so we're a little bit off kilter. There you go. So we'll have to get back in the... We'll swing. get back in here. And I love pepper and onions in my meatloaf. And with them being in the oven for an hour, they should um, get soft and bake up. But if you wanted to saute them in a little bit of butter before, you, you could. But if, if I find a little pepper that's crunchy or onion that's a little bit crunchy, I don't mind it. And we're going to get to have some fried green 
some tomatoes. We've had a couple messes, or several messes already. We, I mean, we, y'all remember uh, a few months back we planted some uh, tomatoes and some different, some parsley and some other stuff, even some cucumbers. Well, the tomatoes turned out better than anything. Yeah. And they were late. We were very late getting them out. We got them out late. And we really didn't do much. We were so busy in the house that we neglected any outside work. So our cucumbers didn't do any good. Our herbs, we, our, we got some basil. Or not, you know. Yeah. I, I made some spaghetti sauce and used the basil. But the onions. But the onions. Okay, let's back up. But the tomatoes done really good. I we had several fried green tomatoes for dinner. Family's help. Y'all remember her. <laughs> She is having an off day. Yes. And I would say probably three quarters of a cup or two thirds of a cup of uh, the onions and peppers if I were to measure them. But I've just been making meatloaf so long that I just don't, I don't measure. I know kind of by looking. Is that sweet onions or what? This is a Valdea. Okay. Hey, those are great. They are. Onions. They're and my favorite. They'll put your eyes out while you're peeling them, but they'll turn your taste buds. They'll take, turn them for a loop, won't they? Oh, I love them. I can take a piece of cornbread, some onion, a Valdea onion, and a glass of milk. That supper for me. I love them. Probably about the only thing that I've changed in this recipe is adding the stove top. Or not, well, it's generic for stove top. It's stuff in the mix. What you putting the stove top in? Mm -hmm. Instead of oatmeal or crackers or bread crumbs. Oh. Rolls. Yeah. Let me get me a little. Well, I won't be too mad at you now. I think you'll like it. I think it'll be good. I'm hoping anyway. And if the camera's a little shaky tonight, uh, we had some tripod trouble. And I've just got a little, little okay. bitty trick. I'm going to put some ketchup in there too. <coughs> but when I put the recipe, I will put what the four ingredients that it called for and how to do that and then I'll down below it I'll put what I've added and how much I've added so then you can kind of maybe make it like the recipe and then um, see how that is and then make it with all the other ingredients now if you guys are a little squeamish you might want to fast forward just a little bit um, you can stir this up with a spoon but I have always used my hands. That's the best way. If you want to use some gloves, you can. But my hands are clean. I washed them before we got started. Um, so I want to go for it. So you might want to fast forward just a little bit. But this, this is the best way to mix it up. Well, I'm not putting the camera on. Yeah. That's probably a good way. You can put it on my beautiful face. That's where <laughs> I've got it. That's where I've got it, my baby. Oh, I think Wayne is rubbing off on me. <laughs> well, after 32 years, I hope so. Yeah, something needs to give, right? A little bit, yeah. Now, if you wanted to, you can make a little small patty and fry it up and then taste it to see if your seasonings is on point. But like I said, I've made it so much, so many years that I 
pretty sure we're close. Now can we get in or not? Wait just a second. Okay. Oh yeah, that is the beginnings of a big time meal. Yep, this is gonna be this is one of Wayne's favorites, so he's gonna enjoy it. Oh yes. Now if you wanted to, you can make it into a loaf. Or you can pat it out. This is probably, I don't think it's a 9 by 13. It's just a little bit smaller than the 9 by 13. Is that little Vicky? It is. Miss <laughs> hmm. Vicky got me and Wayne that. She has two of them. That is one big one. And, oh, we have meat off, aren't we? Yes. I'm going to uh, make it into a loaf. I'll Sometimes put, I make oh it into yeah, a loaf. Sorry. Sometimes I make it and just pat it out and make it like a cake. I'll, I'll put me a slice of that on a bun tomorrow. Yeah, we'll have extra. This I make extra because we eat it for a couple of days. I'm sorry for talking over you. I'm sorry. You are fine. It's just good to be back it is. with everybody. We have missed you guys. Well, I tell you, that, that looks good. It smells good. Yeah. Basically, the only difference was the um, the stuffing mix. But mm. it's just breadcrumbs, that seasoned breadcrumbs. Um, more like a, in cubes, croutons. Um, which I use breadcrumbs in mine anyway. Well, wouldn't that just help with the taste? Yep. Yeah, it's just, I mean, I would say it's just easier to dump that in there and, and go, maybe. That's how they do it. Just dump it. Mm. Just dump and go. <laughs> and now, I'm not a big fan of the ketchup. But when you bake ketchup, it seems like it gives it a little different taste. So I like to put it mm -hmm. on right as I go put it in there and it will caramelize and brown a little bit and I like that flavor. But if you don't, you could wait till like maybe the last 15 minutes of baking and then pull it out and put your ketchup on. Some people mix it with a barbecue sauce or they put barbecue sauce instead some people um, make a gravy and pour over their meatloaf. But this is how we've always done it and eaten it. Now, will the ketchup go down into the mm -hmm. meat? And I'll probably pull it out maybe about 15, 15 minutes before baking time is over and put a little more ketchup. And then when I slice it and put it on Wayne's plate, he'll probably put more ketchup. He loves yes, he ketchup. will. Okay, so we're going to bake this at 350 uh, for one hour. So we'll see you back in an hour. Bye-bye. Okay, guys. It's been baking a little over 45 minutes. This is how it looks. So I'm going to add a little more ketchup, stick it back in there, and then I'll take it stamp and um, make sure it's at least 155, and um, we'll serve it up. Let one taste test. Okay, we've got supper ready. Here's our meatloaf. I took a few pieces out and done our thumbnail with it. We're going to have one taste test in a minute. We got some fried corn. Um, after you cut it off the cob, I just put some olive oil butter in a pan, get that hot, put my corn in there, a little salt and pepper, onion powder, garlic powder, and a little bit of sugar, and I put about a couple tablespoons of sour cream, and this is probably five or six ears of corn, and that really, that sour cream just puts it over the top some mashed potatoes press and roast that's what's for supper 
Wayne is going to taste test. I just took a couple pieces out. Mm. Can you guys hear the rain? It started um, right after we um, cut the camera and I put the meatloaf in the oven. It started thundering, getting dark. Now it is pouring the rain. Hey, check it out. And that's gonna be some good eating. We're gonna make like this piece. Yes. You see how it's caramelized right there? Right. That's what we like. <laughs> we'll fight over that piece right there. There's another piece of it on the other side. <laughs> and we'll have plenty for leftovers. Wayne ate that for lunch tomorrow. So, is there any difference with the stuffing mix? Which I basically added other stuff to kind of make it my own. So is there any difference? What's that? Taste. Mm -hmm. It's not onions. Here. Tell me. What is that taste? I don't know. It tastes just like it's, my regular meatloaf. No, I was going to say. It tastes like you regular meatloaf, except for that little that taste. There's a little twang in it. Yeah. It may have been the tomato paste. Oh, she did put her finger in the corn to make it sweet. <laughs> Hey, he's feel bad. I put sugar in it. Mm. That's good meatloaf. I don't think it would have had enough spice with just the ground beef, the stuffing mix, I didn't taste it ketchup time. and water. You might have got the end where there's a lot of ketchup too. This was good. It is good. And then with the corn and the mashed potatoes, it's gonna be a good meal. And the rolls. And we're going to, we bought us a cherry pie <clears throat> from Walmart. And we got some coleslaw that we'd had left over when I made fried fish. So we'll have that. We'll watch us a movie and listen to the rain. Do you think we can do a fish video maybe? We can. Maybe some fish and hush puppies. Yeah. That's right. Yeah, wine loves meatloaf, fish, liver. And those are coming up. I've got some of his favorite meals, some of them. And guys, we've got, we went this weekend, got her flooring. So the um, Labor Day weekend's coming up. I've got a four day, uh, four days off. So we'll probably put it down weekend coming. Yep. yep. And uh, if you have a prayer request, put it in the comments and we'll put your name in our prayer book and uh, Everybody prays over everybody. Well, most everybody. I know a bunch of you that come in. You always talk about the prayer book. Well, that's ours. Yours and ours. Amen. And uh, review. I mean, please don't think I'm crazy. But uh, when we do a video, it's just like you're here. And, uh, and that's what we want. We want you guys to feel like you have just stopped by our home. And you come in our kitchen. Maybe sitting over there at the bar. Watching us cook. And uh, when I say, I don't use that word love. Loosely. 
and I've had a bunch of people to tell me, oh, I love you, I love you. Three of them run off and left me to die in a car. If you've not seen that video, it's a good when, one. when a tragic, oh, when a beautiful day turns tragic. Turn tragic. It's, it's in their videos. And uh, get you young people, get people that's not safe around and watch it. It was something else I was wanting to say. Remember my nephew, Blake. He's, he's prayer. And uh, remember Pam, she's a request. Uh, we, we depend on you guys to pray for us. And uh, I guess that's about it. I think we're probably going to maybe do some chicken livers, fried chicken livers, our next video. Don't hold me to it, but I think that's the way we're going to go. Okay. We love you guys. Show them the... Wait a minute. Wait a minute. What yeah. you want, Toto? What you want, Toby? No. He's going to jump on he, Jay's he'll lap. Jump. <laughs> he, he will. He, he'll jump right into a, a train. He's a jumper. But, hey, we love you all. And, uh, send the comments. I enjoy those so much. And there's some people... That's not commented in a while. I miss you when you don't. But I'm um, I'm eat. <laughs> Love you. Take care. And we did make yourself available, and God will send people to you. We got nine new names in our prayer book. Just by going to uh, a store to get some stuff for the house. And I told them about you guys that you pray. But we love you and 